And I'm super excited to have you um, here with me today. We're gonna talk about how to maximize the performance of your blog post. I'll share five video ideas and show you exactly how to make them, at least three of them. Um, because five, it doesn't, it takes only minutes. <laughs> we know that in StoryKit, but uh, I think three, uh, I've chosen my top three and I'll share them with you. Um, so before we dig in, I just wanna quickly introduce myself. My name is Heidi Bodo. I'm community manager at StoryKit, uh, meaning I handle our social channels, the distribution of content, publishing. Um, I also do like digital activities such as this one today. I've had a few together with my colleague, Matilda Lund. If you're a StoryKit user, I'm sure many of you have met her. Uh, we hosted some workshops during the spring. They were um, so much fun. Uh, and this is a new kind of webinar series. Uh, I'll be hosting one, uh, me or someone else, uh, every two weeks. And the first one is how to maximize your blog performance because Oh, and also a very, very important note. You, um, one of the things that I do work is that I handle our Facebook group, which is called Video for Social Media. And I would love to uh, see you all join. Uh, it's a community, it's a, a group where you can um, hopefully get some inspiration from me. Uh, I make sure to post at least once a week uh, the videos that I um, publish. Um, and I share the storyboard IDs for you to use. You can ask questions, um, ask for inspiration or any kind of support. So please join. Okay, what we will cover today is of course, how to give your content the distribution it deserves because we know that you're poured your heart and soul into creating these valuable articles for your audience. Um, but then you actually need to put them in front of people because the harsh truth is that very few people actually go to one's website just to browse the latest articles. You have to make sure that they get the attention they deserve. And, um, but it's also worth noting that like, we are not here to replace any of your articles. We're just on a mission to ensure that it gets the attention, attention it deserves. And that's what we're going to talk about, the most effective distribution format. And as I said, we'll go through five types of videos that you can transform your blog into right away. I'll take you through a step-by-step -step strategy that you can steal today. And we'll have time, hopefully, for a Q&A at the end. So why video? And I think that this tweet by Elon Musk, he posted it at the beginning of May. I think it says it all. Um, the only reason you need uh, to go for video is that it's favored by all of the platforms. And he says that the more screen time users spend looking at a post, whether it's text, a pic, or a video, the more it's boosted by the platform. And since it takes a bit more time to watch a video rather than to click on a link, video is favored. Um, video also means that you can give your content a second, a third, or a fourth life, meaning you will actually have to produce way less. All right. So in May, for the past month, I have created over a hundred videos, humble brag, uh, but um, the reason that was possible is because yesterday we launched something huge that we call, uh, we call it Aaron internally, but it's the StoryKit Video AI. And um, if you're anything like me, it's easy to get overwhelmed by, um, by AI, it's everywhere. Uh, but what I really wanna push for is that this AI, our AI, is AI totally under control because our AI, the amount of times so I'm gonna say that today, is only using your source text that you put in. So it doesn't make anything up. It doesn't try to make it anything else than what you're already, given, already giving it. 
Uh, so it only uses your source text, meaning it's consistent, it's on your brand, it's your message, it's your text, it's your narrative. Um, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So how to turn one piece of content into five videos? We've chosen these. You can make a key takeaway uh, from your article, whatever great highlights you put in there. You can make a content teaser. You can make a listicle, a summary, just quickly explaining what the article is about. And of course you can do a how-to. And we'll be using our own article today. So I'm gonna head out. You can still see my screen, I hope. And we're gonna jump straight into the tool. I've talked for eight minutes. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I also have a lot of hay fever. <laughs> so I'm sorry for my uh, notes, <laughs> but hopefully you won't get too disturbed. Okay, so I'm in my project, in my client. This one I'm named Aaron, because that's what I'm using for. Um, we'll be using this article. Steal this hack to turn your articles into videos that get five times the reach. It's written by our amazing content manager, Maddie. And it contains a lot of good insights on how video enhances your blog's impact. And we have turned this article into five videos already. And I'll show you how we did that. And here are the videos that we will be making today. So let's make some AI videos under control. So I'm gonna grab all of this text. So I wanna use it all, so good. She actually included a bonus video. I copy that. I'm gonna head to new video, go to the script editor. I'm gonna choose blank script. I'm gonna name this the key takeaways. I'll go for the one one, choose my uh, theme that I made for today. It's called Aaron, because I've also applied some rule sets to it. If you're familiar with that, it's um, what it's named. Is rules for your uh, theme, for your client uh, or your agency, I mean. Um, meaning I've allowed some slides that I like more than others. Um, rule sets hasn't really been um, applied to the script editor, to everyone. We're rolling it out. So it will be um, um, applicable in a few days. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I click on the script editor. And here we ha have the AI script creator. And this is one of the things that really sets um, our AI apart from others, because I'm gonna feed it with all of my text. It's right here. It looks um, like a lot, which it is, but uh, don't be afraid. But here are our creators, as we call them. And these are all made by our CPO and co-founder, Fredrik Strömberg. He's done an amazing job. It's all built on his editorial knowledge that he has from working with this for, um, I don't know how many years. Um, but these are the creators uh, categorized uh, on your source text. So if you have a press release, we did this yesterday when the press release about our AI went out, uh, you can do a summary or you can take out the most important quote. Uh, and this is also very important. This is the kind of thing that sets AI apart from any other like generative AI, because if there's no quote in it, it won't make any, it will say the text doesn't, um, doesn't contain an, uh, a quote, so it won't make anything up. If you have a recruitment ad, you can paste it in to make a job video. If you have a case story, um, we're gonna head over here because it says blog, that's what we're working with. We also have the teasers, some experimental 
um, that gives you like, this is what you could do. And also the e-commerce category. If you have a product page, our CEO, uh, Peter did amazing product videos using a, um, a barbecue grill <laughs> that he showed us the other day. It looked really cool. But we're gonna choose the three takeaways. And here you can choose which um, type of AI I think it is. We're gonna go for the automatic ones. And you can also include optional instructions like this is what I want you to focus on. Um, the theme, the most important theme of this text is X, Y, Z. So I'll start creating the script. So it's gonna, use since i chose my favorite theme it's gonna look on brand it's gonna show exactly how i'm used to having it and something that i'm also going to show or is that um this ai actually also translates your text if you wanted to um, I heard from some of the sales manager the other day, but they're calling it, oh, <laughs> we had an error, <laughs> failed for some reason, but the text looks really good, so we should be fine. We'll go for it again. This text is in English, and I want the video to be in English as well, but if it's in any other language of yours, or not any other, but one of these, you can actually translate it to another uh, language. I did that yesterday. We had a Swedish press release um, that I translated to English. It went really well. I just refreshed my page. We'll see if that makes it any better. Uh, but as you can see, even though I refreshed it, it's still um, here, which is really good. Um, since we rolled this out yesterday, there has been, um, it has says, um, it said this morning that it um, I got an error because um, it was overloaded. If this doesn't work, I'll just have to sit here and talk for another 15 minutes. I could take a question now since um, I see it. I have a question in Q&A. Frank asks, is this AI editor working for all languages? Uh, so not all languages but um i guess the most used ones <laughs> on social media uh, so it's it's absolutely um available to translate from english to catalan danish dutch finnish french german italian norwegian spanish and swedish we can have a look at that later if there's time okay it's working unlock your blog's potential with video so i chose three takeaways Adding videos to your blog post can help you engage and captivate your readers. So it's given me three main takeaways on why you should use video to maximize your blog. I'm gonna click on this film roll and you can actually see while working with the, the text exactly uh, the slide type, uh, um, how it's gonna look. But if I feel like, mm, okay, this video is for um, LinkedIn, so I'm gonna use a little bit more formal language. I can just make some edits. I can remove the exclamation marks. I can, of course, choose to take away some text or add, but I don't think that, uh, that I need to do that. But if I feel like mm, intro focus pull, is a great one, but I'm thinking, I think I'm going to go for the cutout line today or maybe focus pull, but in another um, text size, I can go for that. But I think focus pull in extra large looks great. So I'm going to view my storyboard. I think it looks good. I'm gonna create it. So what I've done 
is just grabbing the text that I've already written, not me, but we have, Maddie has, and I get a storyboard. So with just a few clicks, I never have to start from scratch. And this is why the, this is why I at least view video as not film or a video video, but a distribution format. This, except for the errors in the beginning, this is the reason that I managed to publish 100 videos in one month, excluding the weekend. So in 25 work days, no, 20, 25, something like that. And then, so I've, I've um, scripted it. Now I'm gonna style it. I'm gonna go for some assets that I've been working a lot with just to see. These are the ones that I used yesterday when I did the press release. You can see that it, it um, tells me that this one's dark because it's too short. Great. I'm gonna choose uh, these guys going on a car in a very unconventional way. I'll import that. I'm gonna use this woman looking at her phone. I'm gonna go for this powerful lady, the coffee cup. And just, I mean, we always say the script is the main, is the main focus of any video. I'm just using assets to make it look prettier. If you have your own assets, as always, it's um, um, of course um, possible to upload your own. I don't know how many I got now, but I'm gonna uh, leave the asset library and I'll start adding them. Maximize impact. Increase your reach. I go for her. Boost performance. This nice coffee cup. And I'm actually gonna go with this all the way to the outro. So I'm done. Oh, I'm gonna add music. And I mean, I don't know if you've seen this yet. Um, we've just a couple of weeks ago launched Premium Library. There are over 27,000 songs in this library. So I'm, I maybe I've listened to like 10 of them. <laughs> you, can, you can filter them by genres, your moods, uh, how long you want them to be. It says uh, it has to be longer than 40, 54 seconds because that's how long my video is gonna be. So it's filtered out anything that's shorter. You can use your tempo. I'm in love with a song that says it's easy to love you. Because it is easy to love you guys. I'm gonna save that. And everything's a bit slower when you're screen sharing, but that's fine. Yeah. Ah, sorry. I have my um, video of me in the in front of everything. So we're gonna generate that. While I do that, I think I still have my text on command C. So we're gonna jump straight into the next one. This one is gonna be a content teaser. I go for Aaron. Head straight into that. Here's all my text. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for double question or statement teaser. I really do like the double uh, question teaser. I think it works fine without my optional instructions. I am also not very good at writing instructions. I've been using ChatGPT for a couple of months. Not my best side. Apparently this needs to be refreshed. Um, 
I have a question that I can go for. Meanwhile, Yava asks, we do not have access to it yet. Do we need a different subscription for it? Uh, are you, do you mean the AI, Aaron, or do you mean uh, the premium music library? Because um, I am not the best person to ask when it comes to subscriptions because I don't, oh, you mean the AI? Um, that's a good question. I will ask my colleague, who I think's in the call, the webinar, my dear colleague, Turkey. Uh, she's our product marketer manager. I'm gonna allow her to talk. If that's okay with, with you, Dirk, I'll let you in. Yeah, I'm good, I'm here. Nice. So what was the question of you need a different subscription if you want to have the AI script creator? Is that yes. the question? Uh, no, you don't. You only have to uh, opt into it. So if you'd like to have the AI script creator, just reach out either to support or if you know who your customer success manager is, reach out to them, ask them to set up the opt-in contract for you and you'll have it probably as soon as it's signed. Awesome. Thank you so much. So Eva, feel uh, free. You're very, very welcome to reach out to your um, customer success manager or just email support at storekit.io and we'll make sure that you opt in. Uh, I haven't added the question. I might as well take that one as well. Eleonora asks, could you please repeat the input structure you chose for the first video script? Was that three takeaways? Exactly. Three takeaways I chose. And someone anonymously asks, what about the premium music? That I know that you, that's included in the standard subscription. And Dirke will maybe write in the Q&A if that's wrong. But let's see. This time I chose double question teaser. I love starting videos with um, a question because that gets you, that's a real eye catcher on social media. So it asks, are you up to speed on the five types of video that maximize your blog performance? It's gonna, I'm gonna feel like, oh, I don't know, am I? Have you been following the latest trends? I like this one. This is my storyboard. It's quick, uh, it's a fast format that really drives the audience to the um, to whatever article you're promoting. Looks good. And I mean, I've been uh, doing uh, creating videos for uh, two years. Um, you get a little bit not tired of any slide, but I mean, if you've been using it for that long, eventually you'll be like, oh, I, I think I prefer this. So are you up to speed? This was perhaps a little small. I'm gonna put that in large. I chose an intro and that was a bit long. I'm gonna go for the icon. There we go. Looks good. I'm gonna style this a bit. I like the flip text and I'm gonna use order because I think that kind of looks cool. I'm coming closer. <laughs> Doesn't say what, I uh, think it went for dual text here. Oh. Didn't come with, gonna have to take it from here, because I made a mistake. I love using medium. Nay, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean. There were dots there, sorry. Uh, 
I made a mistake, but that's fine. We'll just remove this. And one of our new slides that I love is uh, the call to action outro. Um, so if you're uh, posting this on um, Facebook and you're gonna put the link in comments or LinkedIn, and you're gonna put the link to the article in comments, you can choose the arrow to point down. Um, if I written a, a heavier piece um, of text in the actual text post, like the caption, I can have the, um, or if I say a link in post, I can make the arrow point up. And for the like sake of it, I'm gonna go for the same slides just so we can do this. I'll skip the music part for now because People are watching without sound either way. Okay, let's see how the key takeaways went. I hope you can see this. So this is a bit uh, longer because it actually gives you all of the, the important stuff. And I think this is great that you can either go for, uh, read the whole article or you can just make a video that's supposed to be consumed on the platform that's also favored by LinkedIn and Facebook and whatnot. I think it looks pretty good and it didn't take me long. So I just told my manager earlier today that this might actually be the year that I make sure to schedule and produce all of the content for when I'm on vacation. Um, this might be the year. <laughs> okay. And this is generated. Are you up to speed? Another one. A reason why you should really read this article and then head over and discover how. I love this. And, oh, I have one minute to make the last one. I think I went, um, I did some uh, command C and V when I was in the last video. So I'm gonna grab this text again. And let's do, uh, what should we go for? A list, oh, sorry guys. I've created two videos using the AI. I'm actually also gonna show you how I do my second best, um, um, what I think is the second best way to create a video that's using a template. So I'm gonna go for template instead, and I'm gonna write, I'm gonna name it listicle. I think I'll go for the same theme because I like it. And I'm gonna select my template. So this template has been made, been made uh, by me beforehand uh, because I just love the, the slides in it. Um, yeah, I save a lot of time. So I have some here. I have a listicle with the flip text that I like. I have a listicle video with simple slide and I have the article list, side number. So I'm gonna go for that, create. So I'm not, I'm not in the script editor anymore. So I took that article text for no reason. So this might take a bit, um, it's not long, but you know, but I do the same thing. I grab this, turn your articles into videos that get five times the reach. That's what I'm gonna name it, capital T. Um, five video ideas to boost your article, something like that. Okay, number one. So this is like, you know, repurposing, redistributing all of the valuable stuff that you already have. Now I'm gonna say something short about using this kind of video. I put that in here, kind of text heavy, maybe five and a half seconds, 
won't be long enough. Takeaways. Can you imagine that I get to host a webinar and actually do a work task? <laughs> I'm lucky. Number three is a summary. Like, oh, I'm already. Summary. Mm -hmm. In this video, we condensed the essence of our article. So like I said before, this is not to replace an article. It's to give it the attention it deserves. Because I want people to read and um, consume all of the great stuff that the team's doing. So now I've got like, only by uh, in these 20 minutes, I got three videos out of one article that I can publish now for the coming three days. Because you know what they say, if you wanna grow on social media, posting every once in a while might not be enough. A crystal clear explanation. Be so well crafted. I'm just thinking about what kind of text. I'll go for that one. Just for the sake of it. So there we go. I'm going to use an outro. Go for the simple one. I can also put play, put in my module that I make made. Follow link in post. Oh, I already said. There we go. Follow link in post to learn more or something like that and there we go assets yeah we don't have much time so i'm just going to go for these again a bit light maybe but we'll be fine something like that and while that's generating, I'm gonna head over to the Q&A. Ah, Dirk, uh, Dirk replied to uh, the question before on music. It's an add-on for started and standard, included in enterprise, that's right. Uh, Aida says, congratulations, it seems easy to use, I have to leave. Uh, I will send you the re recording, absolutely. I will send out the email with the article and uh, the recording of this webinar. You can watch it whenever you want to. Thank you so much for joining, Aida. Uh, Sabrina asks, are you going to leave those example videos somewhere? They are very useful. Of course, uh, in the article, um, we can also uh, put in the um, storyboard IDs so you can reuse them whenever you want to. I'm so I'm so happy that you find them useful. Okay, so by the time uh, these are done, so I'll just probably download them and then I'll publish them on perhaps all of our platforms. This is still generating. Um. So guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm six minutes over time and I'm uh, sorry, but this was, um, it was too much fun. Um, so here I am again. Um, I'm gonna uh, be here. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, um, we'll send out an email with the recording and the example, the videos that we made. Uh, you can also find 
other versions in the article. If you like them, just um, write me an email or connect with me on LinkedIn, Heidi Valentina Bodal, uh, and I'll make sure to send you those. Bye guys.